What is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna check out one of the best free to play first person shooters that you can play on steam and one of my absolute favorite and that is the game called polygon this is a game that i featured multiple times before in my channel and you guys seems to absolutely love this game it's honestly not a game that i play regularly but once in a while i jump back into the game and try out all the new content and all the new improvement that they add to the game so today we're gonna jump back in and check it out the game and answer the question whether it's worth your time playing polygon in 2020 so without further ado let's get right into it all right guys if you never heard or played polygon before that is quite acceptable because this game is kind of a hidden gem under the free to play section on steam anyway it's a completely free to play tactical multiplayer first person shooter very similar to a game like battlefield but with this beautiful polygon art style and focuses a little bit more on the realism especially when it comes to weapons and gameplay mechanics and i would say the game has a really nice balance between a casual first person shooter and a tactical shooter so even if you're a beginner in first person shooter game this game is definitely not going to be that difficult Nevertheless, I'm kind of surprised to see that the game is more than three years old at this point and still hovering around 800 daily concurrent players on Steam, which is quite impressive for an early access title. Anyway, the game has improved tremendously over the last couple of years and the last time I checked out the game, the main menu looked like this and nowadays it looked like this with added characters, new textures and tons of new content to the game, which is really awesome. The game represents large scale maps similar to Battlefield but with up to 32 other players and the main game mode is going to be the content style game mode from battlefield games but with much more smaller scale with only three capture points right now the game represents five different maps in total some maps are a bit more large scale and open and some of them are much more linear the game also had player hosted servers which means you can make your own custom game and invite a bunch of your friends or you can just make it open so other players can join and enjoy but in order to host your own servers you need to have a premium account which you can buy using the premium currency otherwise there is a lot of player hosted servers especially on the night time Time, you can just simply join and play and also guys when it comes to weapon the game also got a pretty decent arsenal of weapon including some popular weapons like ak-47 m24 ak-12 scar h and with the recent patches they also added weapons like chris vector g36c and ak-308 and all of these weapons and attachment can unlock just by playing the game which is really cool so there is absolutely no pay to win element here so whenever you finish the game you will receive some xp as well as some in-game credit which you can spend on the store to unlock these weapons and in order to unlock some of the weapons you need to have your account in a certain level for an example if you need to unlock the chris vector your account needed to be level 20 and with the recent patches they added a brand new weapon upgrade system which is very similar to battlefield so whenever you're playing with the weapon and getting killed especially headshot you will unlock xp related to that weapon and using that xp points you can unlock certain attachment and upgrade your weapon and loadout and i gotta say with this recent weapon upgrade overhaul i kind of lost all the attachment that i unlocked previously which is really sad because i pretty much had all the attachment related to all the weapons that i used and now i have to start all over again maybe they have done some kind of a reset i honestly don't know but if you are starting out right now it's definitely not gonna be an issue for you overall i really like this new system and honestly don't take much time to unlock certain attachment and overall customization is really basic you can change your muscle optic your weapon grips and if you're using a sniper weapon scopes and they also added a very little customization to your character with this recent update you can change your watch and that's pretty much it and the game also had a premium currency which you can use to unlock only cosmetic items including weapon skins premium battle passes and premium status on your account so there is absolutely no pay to win element here which i'm really appreciate as a free to play game and also with this recent update to the game they also changed pretty much all the weapon models sounds reload animation and they also had a brand new faces to characters improved textures but still keeping that polygon style graphic which i really appreciate so overall the game is in a really good state right now but i gotta mention some of the things that i feel like need improvement in the future in my previous video i mentioned especially when you're in a match you cannot change your primary weapon for an example let's say if you're playing sniper and you want to change it to your assault rifle previously you have to go all the way back to the main menu and change it and come back again which is really annoying but after that they added the option to change your primary weapon but you still cannot change any of the attachment you can only change the base weapons and they also mentioned 
reason that feature was temporarily disabled right now and hopefully that will come out in the future but in my personal opinion the best solution here is to add some customizable loadout at least three of them so you can customize them in the main menu and you can simply change them around during a game and also i'm not the biggest fan of the crosshair kind of stuck to the weapon which is a bit weird and i haven't seen in any other first person shooters doing that and usually the crosshair is kind of sitting in the middle of the screen which help you to aim especially when you're sniping and that is just my personal opinion and hopefully they will change it in the future and other than that i really want to see new game modes added to the game especially with the vehicles which is something that they mentioned in previously but haven't really added to the game yet and i also want to see voice chat in the game right now the game doesn't support voice chat which i think is something that they should add to the game before the full release overall it's a very solid first person shooter and i honestly had a really fun time playing the game and i haven't really faced any major issues game crashes or bugs or anything like that and it is also really good to see the developers are working hard on the game right now pushing new content new updates to the game very continuously so i can absolutely recommend this game for any of you guys to try out in 2023 it's a completely free to play game and download size is less than 1 gb and also the system requirements are pretty acceptable you can even play this game with a low end system as long as you have a dedicated graphics card so i hope most of you guys can enjoy the game without any issues well that's about it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video so if you're someone who already playing polygon right now definitely let us know down in the comment section what you think about the game and your overall experience and if you haven't had the chance to try out this game yet i highly recommend you guys to try out the game right now is probably the best time to do it so finally guys if you enjoyed the video so far please go ahead and drop a like on the video and also subscribe because we cover tons of free to play games on our channel i catch you guys soon in my next video stay safe